Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, 1950 Chevy Styline Deluxe Convertible. Oh my gosh, beautiful car. Let me give you the details in a moment. <laughs> Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition and it is a beauty, a 1950 Chevy Styline Deluxe Convertible. Now, 1950 was a big year for Chevrolet. Lots and lots of cars were built in that year and this is no exception as being one of the really, really nice examples. Convertibles were still gaining in popularity as usual and this one is really nice. Now, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a walk around, we're going to do a cold start, we're going to have lots of additional pictures as well and you can click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website site what will give you all the information on this car the pricing and it'll also give you contact for our other cars that are currently in inventory at our website www.ellingsunmotorcars.com where you'll find close to 100 classic and collectible vehicles ranging from cars in the 1920s all the way up into the 70s and beyond but yes we have some really really nice inventory right now make us a favorite that way you always have access to what's new and it'll tell you the new arrivals right on our website but yes 1950 really nice car i mean this car was loaded with accessories and whatnot <coughs> i love the hood ornaments i tell you what that's just one of my coolest things from all these cars they just have i mean they're just such character artistic work in this car they added all the extra bumper guardettes they did all the extra because you know this is the deluxe i mean it's got the extra side chrome tells you it is a deluxe by the way <coughs> chrome uh, gravel guards both front and rear some of the lesser expensive models those would be made out of rubber um, under the hood of course the uh, standard uh, chevrolet six cylinder however this is a 235 inline six little newer motor which is probably just fine because that was really a good motor in 1954 because it was also a pressurized oil system into on, in 1954 so you got a little bit upgraded motor power convertible top in this thing as well take a look at the details under the hood it is just very very nice the other big improvement of course that these cars have it's got the radial wide white wall tires, correct white wall size on this car with the full hubcaps with the Chevrolet emblem in the middle. I mean, the radial tires just makes all the difference in the world in terms of the rideability, the steering, just how it goes down the road. I mean, it was one of those things that they would have had in 1950 would have made these cars a little more pleasurable to drive. But uh, now that you have it, it's really nice. But beautiful Oxford maroon paint on this car. Chrome work is just absolutely beautiful. I love the accessory bumper guard. And the rear one has the big one that goes across. And here's something that they did. This is a three-speed manual on the tree, of course. Everyone knows that the shifter is first, second, third, and then back to reverse over this way. Um, it does have a Fenton split manifold on this thing. So you have a really neat sound of this with dual exhaust. It's got the dual exhaust tips out the back and it even has backup lights. But let's take a look at the inside in this car. Really pristine. This is actually very close to what you would have got in 1950. The only thing that I see that they certainly didn't have, uh, to my knowledge, they've got seat belts. Uh, really a nice uh, improvement for us today. We're so used to that. You get in a car without seat belts, you kind of get nervous almost. Uh, turn signals are the accessory one on the column because they weren't necessarily required back then, but this does have the turn signals right there. So you don't have to put your arm out the window and have people think you're pointing out at that uh, farm building out there or whatever. Neat other thing that it has on the dash. Many of you probably don't know what that thing is. It is the viewfinder thing for when you pull up to stoplights. In the old days, many small towns like my hometown had one stoplight that would hang in the middle. If you have a visor or, you know, a convertible and you, you pull up to the, you can't always see what that stoplight's doing. Well, guess what? 
you look in that little thing right there on the dash, a relatively inexpensive option, and you can see the stoplight when the light goes from red to green, and away you go. Just one of those things. People say, what is that thing for? That's what it is. Uh, looks like it has a uh, uh, AM radio in it as well, original instrumentation. It does look like it does have a, uh, a uh, one accessory gauge as well. So it looks like it has some stereo music set up with extra speakers in there. Um, boy, it's just one of those cars that's really nice. Beautiful power top, as I said. You can see that in the videos as well. We'll have the top up so you can see how that looks. Nice uh, boot on it as well. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. All the information on this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, there are out of the cars that we have sold in the past as well. So if you like to peruse the internet, look on, on the stuff that we've sold, kind of fun to do if you got that time. Uh, yes, whoever ordered this car really did a nice job of adding the accessories. Like I said, the full hubcaps, the wide white walls, even fender skirts as well, the, the accessory things around the door handles, the gas door, extra thing, just all those things that just make this car really, really special. Now, if you're like me, maybe you say, God, I gotta come down and take a look at it in person. Love to have you come down to Ellingson's. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to five, Saturdays 10 to four as well. So come on down, we'd be happy to show you the car in person. That way you can look at this in all of our other good cars. And remember our website being ellingsonmotorcars.com. And we thank you again for taking a look at our video, looking at our car, uh, appreciate it very much. Hopefully we have something that really intrigues you and you wanna make a trip and visit us in person. Thank you again and see you next time at Ellingson Motor Cars.